name is K. Felix, and I will come you to K. Felix Inspire. Always remember, if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Please do stay tuned for more details in this video. Huh? You came next? Huh? Yes, what yeah. are you trying to... No, decide? just the, 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 the budget has, it is... Uh, it has it, has, it is massive it massive incre increments across the board CDF. just your your comment cdf and many no, other CDF, areas you know you are mistaken cdf if you 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 followed the minister very well when he talked about cdf there are other things which has been brought up to the grassroots level the things to do with the uh, procurement of desks uh, construction of uh, maybe uh, uh, classrooms uh, painting and the bazaris, they have brought them at, uh, at, a, at a local level. For me, that's a good move. That's a good move. And we just want to, uh, to assure the government of His Excellency Akainde that we are here uh, to offer checks and balances and we are waiting for them to implement uh, this budget. Uh, in the, on the other hand, the minister was saying they don't have money. They don't have money. They are even struggling to pay uh, salaries. They are struggling to pay other government obligations. So for me, we want to uh, to wait and see where they are going to get uh, this money, first of all, because in four years, if you divide uh, uh, that money which uh, uh, the minister has given to uh, to constituencies, in four years, uh, one constituency is supposed, in, in a year, one, one constituency is supposed to get uh, more than 100 million. And in four years, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, 400 uh, million plus. And that's a huge sums of money. So if uh, they told us where they are going to collect this money, I would have said it, was a, it, it is a good budget. But for now, we are, given, we are going to give them the benefit, the benefit of doubt until we see if this budget will be implemented. I can assure you that it's a, a very ambitious a, a budget, but uh, knowing the UPND, they are just uh, doing politics. They came to do politics. And we know those politics. We are waiting for them. January is just around the corner. And uh, we wait and see how this budget will be implemented. Are you going to support them to get on the IMF program? The IMF program, I can't support the IMF program. Supporting IMF program is more like supporting to kill people in this country. IMF, wherever they have passed, uh, go to the countries where IMF have been. There's nothing that IMF has done in those, in those countries. So IMF is not a, a good way uh, or a, a solution to this country. The solution to this country is for us to realize that uh, we have a nice uh, climate for, 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 for Zambia, nice soil. Uh, we can uh, uh, diversify from um, mining dependency into agriculture and make money. We have countries in this world countries which de depends on agriculture, countries which depends on livestock in this world, and they have succeeded. So going the IMF way, we are just wasting time. We are wasting time. Let us encourage ourselves to own, especially mining. If we, uh, we, we started with President, Aka, uh, President Edgar Lungu, we started with KCM, we started with Mupani, and I can assure you that if we can, uh, we can take that route, we'll make a lot of money for, for, for this country. So IMF, me, I can't support IMF. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Look so for accounts so that money is properly uh, accounted for. Once you get that, it means it will be an annual thing. Every time the minister here will provide a budget for uh, that particular constituency or for those constituencies, then you are there to help them. So you already have permanent employment. So that's why I'm saying. It's a budget, I think, that is trying to get money to where people have activities, where people have resources. A lot of us come from areas where we have a lot of trees. You find, in fact, sometimes when it is too hot like it in the past month, children learn under a tree. And then, at the same time, the headmaster will be saying, but you know, I have no desks. That's one big tree in some of these areas, like in my, my rural area. One big tree of about 50 meters can produce even 50 uh, uh, desks. But then the people who are there, they just admire this tree for the shade, when it can do a bigger job than that. Okay. And maybe your thoughts on resource mobilization. Quite a huge jump from 119 
uh, billion to about 170 and, uh, million, million, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and do you see enough uh, revenue streams to be able to fund this budget from what I've been saying so far? I think with all these activities that people might be engaged in, even little, just like when you see the Zambezi at Kariba, and you see it in Mwinulunga. In Mwinulunga it's very small, it just comes out of a stone. But because of the accumulation on the way through the various plains up to Kariba, it becomes a big river. So what I suspect the minister is trying to say, one day he will say, now you have established your small industries. Can you contribute just even one budget per, per week? And that way he's going to raise this money that he's talking about. But I suspect at the moment there's so much goodwill towards the UPND government because of the leadership that has come in. So we still have our all-weather friends, the cooperating partners. Some of them haven't got now means of uh, using their money. I know that in some European countries, the issue of primary schools and secondary schools, universities, all those are dealt by the private sector. So they have some bit of money that they can give us so that we put into services such as health and, uh, and education. Really what amazed me is we only need 1.6 billion kwacha to employ 30,000 teachers. Well, what was the budget last day? 119 billion. Huh? And we couldn't recruit these 30,000 people using 1.6 billion kwacha. Something is just wrong somewhere. So I think to an extent, as the President was mentioning yesterday, when swearing in some of these senior people, even in the Minister of Finance, there has been a lot of leakages. If we can close all these leakages, the money I think can be raised, even amongst ourselves. If we have more people now who are going to start mining of gold in Minirunga, out of that we get a bit of that money. We we'll get rich people in there and we we'll also share that with the government so that it's able to recruit these nurses that we need in order to combat problems like COVID-19. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, guys, yes. Uh, we, we, are, we are live on movie TV. I thought you yeah, was uh, dodging. No, no, no. We are live on movie yes. TV. You have, you have presented the budget. Uh, it's, it's quite an ambitious budget. It, it, this is the people's budget. And uh, we, are, we want to take an opportunity to congratulate our Minister of Finance and National Planning, Honorable Msokotwani, who has been able to present a very wonderful budget than uh, ever before. I think it's the first time in over 25 years where you see indeed a people's budget being presented. Uh, the highlights of the budget, you've been able to see how much money has been moved from the center in Osaka by way of decentralizing, where 25.7 million uh, kwacha will go to each of the 150, uh, 156 constituencies. That money will be accessed by the youths, by the women, in ensuring that they utilize it as a way of participating in the economic activities. Some of the things that the youths will be doing in their own localities, starting with the words, uh, if you like, polling stations, villages, they will be manufacturing desks, no more importation of desks. They will be building teachers' houses. They will be making uh, fish ponds. They will be making feeder roads. They will be uh, participating in uh, small enterprises at their level. By any standards, what we are doing is addressing or combating poverty at the uh, grassroots level, using the youth. Remember, it's the majority of the youth that came out and effected change. So this is payback time for President Haka in the Hichilema, who through his uh, 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 trusted Minister of Finance has been able to demonstrate, he has been able to walk the talk by putting money where it matters, in the rural areas, in the urban areas, in the 156 constituencies, 156 constituencies. As if that is not enough, you have seen also the, the demonstration of how a functioning government works. The recruitment of 30,000 teachers who continue to roam the, the streets. Those teachers 
uh, very soon will be employed and this is what we wanted. That is what we worked for as the uh, UPND and that is what we are campaigning for. So we are walking our talk and we are fulfilling, fulfilling the campaign promises that we made. Uh, to crown it all, 11,000 uh, medical personnel who also be employed. That is putting money in the people's pockets. That is also another form of creating jobs. What else can you ask for? And you have been able to see the demonstration with regard to the key economic sectors that have been uh, highlighted. How we are going to ensure that we use the agriculture sector to carry out economic growth and uh, the, uh, economic transformation as well as uh, growth. That is what we have been able to demonstrate as a uh, uh, UPND. And uh, we are also putting money in the tourism sector. Incentives that have been given in order to use the tourism sector to create jobs and also to attract foreign direct uh, investments. That is what we have been able to do. And I can assure you, come uh, 1st January, we begin the implementation of the first ever UPND budget in earnest. What else can you ask for? This is what the people of Zambia voted for and uh, we are so happy that we have been able to demonstrate and we fulfilled the campaign promises that we made. we made. We just want to call upon the people of Zambia, people of goodwill, to be able to support the president, to be able to support the UPND. So there will be no more lies by the PF. You know, these are people who, used to, who wasted 10 years by engaging in corruption, mismanagement, management of, uh, of resources. We have given uh, power to the people, not just power to, to engage in uh, politics, but power to engage in and participate in ec and, uh, economic activities. It is the demonstration of uh, what is uh, certainly will be coming our way in the next five years. This is what we want. Oh, thank you, Honan. Thank you so much. Yes.